Okay, guys, and happy post WrestleMania 35 day. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I did my predictions yesterday, and I really enjoyed the show. Actually, not great, uh, but very solid. I thought um, one of the best movies of recent memory because the last few haven't been particularly anything special. Um, but yeah, today we have an awesome package from Ringside. Uh, this is probably the biggest order I've made from them. Um, look at the size of this box; it's huge. Like, I missed this delivery this morning. Uh, so I had to pick it up um, later on in the day. I was annoyed. I, it was like quarter past ten in the morning. I'm like, I'm not going to be up that time after WrestleMania. Because uh, I went to bed about eight. Because I couldn't get to sleep. But um, here yeah, we have this awesome order right here. Um, placed this order about two weeks ago. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Oh my god, this is a freaking huge drop. box. Huge ass box. The other end. Boom. Alright, here we go. Can you guys see? Look at that goodness. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my god. With pulling things out, we have at the Elite 67 Jeff Hardy. I can't even show you guys. Elite 67 Jeff Hardy with the US title, the interchangeable hands. Really awesome. One of the best Jeff Elites by far. Uh, I'll be doing a fix up on this because I need to look at the face paint's cool, but I think I prefer the non painted scan. So, yeah, we have Jeff Hardy right there from Elite 67. Um, we have a figure I got for free because I ordered over a certain amount. The guy who retired last night until the next Saudi show. Uh, entrance Great Angle, got this for free. Um, pretty cool, might use this for parts or sell it. I don't think it goes for much. Um, it's a pretty cool attire, honestly, not gonna lie. White boots could be could be useful. Uh, let's put him up there on the entrance ramp. Alright, next, let's have a look. Now, the Elite, one of the, the one I was most excited for, probably, the Elite 67 Velveteen Dream. Whoa, look at, awesome, look at that awesome attire. Had an awesome match with Matt Riddle on the last takeover. Wow, the rest of the set right there. This uh, this set was out of stock, so I had to wait to order this um, right before this came back in stock. Um, first time in the line as well, so. Velveteen Dream. Uh, next, we have another one I was really excited for. Cedric Alexander Ali. Really needed a new cruise with Tyler because mine was getting really faded. And uh, this looks awesome, apart from the torso. Uh, I might have to do a torso swap, I don't know. Uh, that's me, 34 tyre. Really nice uh, figure right there. Um, a few more in here. We have one I wanted for a while. The ringside exclusive Brian Kendrick Elite. Really nice. Another cruiserweight for the BFW roster. I haven't had a Brian Kendrick before because this is his only figure. Uh, Mattel that is. But uh, really cool attire. Really nice head scan. And last, lastly, oh no, not lastly, forgot about one, oh, not lastly, I thought this was last, we have the Elite 67 Rey Mysterio, uh, looking really nice, love this, was, wasn't sure whether to get this or not, but I decided to just get it, uh, came with the old cruiser attire, an awesome attire, old, old attire, but it's really cool, um, next we have this, which was just shoved in there, we have an undisputed era, Kyle O'Reilly, because I needed the parts for this, um, Cool. Now I have three Kyle O'Reilly's, custom and two of these ones. But yeah, I needed these parts, so that's really cool. Rings instead of buying the whole undisputed era set, I decided to just get this. Um sure we needed some parts off this. Including the the armband. Um and lastly, I do believe something I show you ordered ages ago. Uh let's just take a move. Well, let's just get these out. Terrific job. Uh, we have the wheelchair place and I got the blue one because I think this is the best. Got the awesome crutches and the neck brace. Looking awesome. So yeah, here is the epic hall. Whoa. Whoa, this looks awesome. So yeah, let's go through everything we got again. Elise 67 Dream, Cedric, Jeff, Ray, Brian Kendrick, uh, Ringside Exclusive, Entrance Gates Angle, Luce Kyle O'Reilly and the wheelchair. Really nice haul from Ringside right here. Um, 
and we're going to go ahead and unbox all of this right now and we will go into the separate reviews so yeah let's go so I guess we'll go from right to left uh, first we'll go ahead and open this Brian Kendrick so guys here is the Brian Kendrick out of the packaging a really nice figure honestly I love the detail on the attire uh, I don't watch 205 live every week so I don't really know what he's doing right now is he a face or a heel I think he's a heel but uh, he also came with this little flag thing that I believe he came out with and a leather jacket similar to Finn Balor's which is a pretty terrible mould but uh, the figure itself is very decent and um, on sale can't go wrong another cruiserweight to add to the division uh, that's pretty much the reason I got it could uh, include maybe some future BFW matches um, and yeah awesome Brian Kendry figure so now we'll go into Cedric Alexander so guys here is the Cedric Alexander but I really like this apart from the torso choice this is a really nice figure uh, comes with the cruiserweight title, which I said I needed, and uh, interchangeable hands, including his signature thumb hand, um, which I'll go ahead and put on now. Uh, let's do this. Two open, two big open hands. That's weird. Um, yeah, there we go. It's got the awesome thumb. Might have to get this torso switched, but uh, I don't mind it. The Wakanda Black Panther attire from WrestleMania 34, really nice. Um, and yeah, so do Alexander definitely pick this up if you want another cruiserweight. And uh, he's one of the best, I think. Alright, now we'll get into the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Okay guys, here is the Elite 67 Jeff Hardy, and really nice attire, honestly. Probably one of my favourite Jeffs. I uh, still love all of his elites, like the Elite 57 in the Epic Moments. But I came with the United States Championship, and some fist hands. But these open hands are so cool to be doing the pose. And I don't mind the head scan, but I will head swap it just to see what will probably look better, I think. And uh, really nice Jeff Elite, love the arm sleeve detail. I'm not a fan of his whole face paint gimmick now. Um, I like just Team Extreme, just you know, Raw Hardy Boys. Um, they're probably my favourite versions of them. But uh, yeah, really nice Jeff Hardy Elite. So, do the pulls I got. Awesome. So yeah, Jeff Hardy. And now we get into Rey Mysterio. So yeah guys, holding this figure for the first time, I can already tell this is going to be a hell of a lot of fun to pose around with and pose with. Really awesome Rey Mysterio Elite, love this. Uh, he came with the old school Cruiserweight title. Uh, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I do like the purple because it's different. But um, the gold also looks very nice. Uh, let me know which one you prefer. But um, Yeah, Rey Mysterio from Halloween Havoc, I believe. Um, what year? Halloween Havoc, doesn't really say. Uh, probably 1990s, I guess. It's one of his, this is like his young look. Um, but really cool Rey Mysterio Elite. Uh, interchangeable hands, just some fists, and this thing that you can um, pose them off. So, you want to do some aerial moves in your feds? Really nice. Um, we have Rim Stereo. Uh, probably my favorite I've opened actually. It wasn't even planned on getting this, but I really like this. It's got the awesome skull on the back right there. But uh, awesome Rim Stereo. I do have the Flash version as well, uh, which is also quite rare. But I think this is a lot better for articulation wise. But uh, now we'll get to the last one because I'm not going to bother opening this. You guys have probably seen a million reviews on this like a year ago. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, I'll probably choose that for parts. But we have the Velveteen Dream. So let's go. Uh, I was going to cut away but I can't be bothered so pause. Here is the Velveteen Dream guys and oh my god this figure is insane. But I did notice, is he meant to have two of these hands? I've only got one and the other two are just two open hands. And uh, he comes with his glasses, of course, his three-eyed glasses. Um, really awesome. Love Dream. He's killing it in NXT. The current North American champion. But he did come with this awesome cloth jacket. And uh, underneath... Yo, what? This is, this is being repackaged. It has a band in the middle. Um... Yo, what? This has been repackaged. This isn't new. Someone's returned this and they've sent it to me. Yo, what? Why is there a freaking elastic band in the middle? Okay, then. Um, I'm going to have to message Ringside about that. But, yeah, really cool dream attire. Um, really awesome. Apart from that, I'm confused now. Yeah, really awesome dream. I love this figure. Really nice. Um, hopefully we get some really cool attires from him in the future. Uh, head scan is so accurate. It's insane. But I uh, might have to torso swap this, but it means getting another Benjamin. And um, yeah, I'm really concerned about that band in the middle. 
so that's weird. Um, but yeah, we're going to set them all up and uh, I'll uh, tell you guys my overall thoughts. Guys, I almost forgot to open this wheelchair. Oh my god. See? Oh, I hate when that happens, that's the worst. Destroy. Alright, we have crutches. I've never owned cru Mattel crutches before. We have the neck brace, which I really like. And the main thing is itself a wheelchair. <laughs> this is so cool. This will mix with some cool spots and uh, cool for injured people in feds. So, yeah, wheelchair playset. Um, really cheap. I think this was like $7. But, uh, yeah, really awesome. So, I think that's everything. We obviously have the Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, which is already open, so really nice. Uh, 40 pieces again. But, um, yeah. So now I'm going to put everything back in the ring. So, yeah, guys, here is the final complete uh, setup. We've got Kyle O'Reilly in the wheelchair. We've got Dream, really weirded out by what's happened with that. I left a message ringside. Uh, we've got the Jeff, Cedric, and Ray, awesome figures. We've got Brian back there, looking really cool, all the different parts. And there we have Big Boy Angle over here, which I'm wondering whether to open or not. But I'll do that in another time. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this haul, guys. Uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, we'll have some more out during the week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.